My name is Nathan Thompson and this is part of my story. When I was a child, I was left to fend for myself unsupervised. For more than a year, I was left on my own without anyone to care for me. I would often leave for school and go home to no one and no food. My koro grandfather lived with his own family and would drop off one box of wheat bix one pound of butter and one bag of sugar every fortnight. I would wash my own clothes, I would hang them on the line outside. I would often eat fruit from the trees to fulfill my diet. He didn't care about me or my well-being. Living alone was difficult for me. The first few months were the hardest. I used to cry myself to sleep. I looked to the moon to remind myself of my nan, who was someone who cared for me and demonstrated love to me. Some time later, I had spent the summer with relatives in Tauranga and my auntie was dropping me home back to stay with my koro. I had a good time in Tauranga and I didn't want to be taken back to Hamilton to stay with my koro. He was not a good man. Silly old coot. Nathan, get out. Grab yourself and get out. Koro doesn't want me anymore. Take me back to Tauranga. No, no, I can't take you to Tauranga. I'm going to Auckland. It's not safe out there for you, boy. Go on. Auntie left, and I knew life was not going to be good for me staying with Koro.
So I decided that I would escape. I would run back to Tauranga, where I could feel safe and wanted. I knew that there was a better life out there for me. So I made my plans in my head. I would wait till everyone wasn't watching. And then I would sneak out of the house and get away for good. When I was running away from home, my brother Aaron snuck out of the house and came after me. At first I was upset, because if I was caught with Aaron, I would get the blame and my punishment would be worse. Wait hey Aaron, go back home you egg. I don't want to, I want to stay with you. Okay fine, you can come, but just listen to me and do as I say, okay? Okay, I'll listen to you my bro. If the police come by, do you know how to act so they don't notice you? No, what do I do? If the police see you, make sure you don't look suspicious. If you see the police, look straight into their eyes and then look away. Walk normally, don't rush. Because if you look suspicious, those cops are going to nab you, eh boy? I'm not going to be suspicious or show fear. Nathan, I'm always going to stay with you. I don't want to go back home. I don't like it. I know, I know. I told Aaron how to act if the cops came by. But only ten minutes later and one drove by. Aaron froze, and the cop pulled over and took Aaron. I was left on my own. I was sad because I loved my brother, and I didn't want to lose him. I just didn't want to be alone. I wanted to matter. I wanted to be wanted, to be loved. <laughs>